वॉर इज द इन्वेंशन ऑफ ह्यूमन माइंड एंड ह्यूमन माइंड कैन ऑल्सो इन्वेस्ट पीस दिस पर्टिकुलर कोर्ट इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट बाई सींग द करेंट सर्कमस्टांसिस विच इज गोइंग कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बिटवीन इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान बिकॉज वी कैन सी दैट मेनी पिक्चर्स विच आर कमिंग फ्रॉम बोथ दी साइड्स ऑफ द कंट्री दैट इनोसेंट लाइफ हैव बीन टेकन अवे विदाउट एनी फॉल्ट हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द इन न्यूज सीरीज ऑफ दृष्टि आई एस आई एम ऋतु एंड टूडे सेशन इज अबाउट एस फोर हंड्रेड मिसाइल सिस्टम and in this session we are going to talk about this particular missile system we'll also briefly talk about that is india going to have war with pakistan and we are going to discuss the features associated with this missile system and how effectively it it has been used into this current circumstances so this uh, we are going to start this session so first of all we are going to discuss the news so if you already know that what is the news which is circulating in and around the world that uh, there was a terrorist attack by a terrorist a terrorist organization in which india has accused that pakistan have been involved into such kind of terrorist attack though pakistan has denied such kind of allegations and we have not found any definite evidences for it but we do know that there are some financing and there are some establishment which has been established in pakistan and that's why they had this kind of tendency to attack on the innocent lives and after that india retaliated and we can see that we had launched operation sindur and through operation sindur india had tried to target the terrorist hubs which is located into the pakistan and in retaliation we can see that pakistan has also attacked many cities and yesterday many cities have witnessed the blackouts especially in rajasthan punjab jammu and kashmir so this is the current scenario of current uh, what is conflict going between india and pakistan amid all these things when india retaliated to the pakistan it has used one missile system and that missile system is known as s400 missile system in indian uh defense system it is called as sudarshan chak so today's discussion will be around sudarshan chak and its features so this is the news which we are going to talk about in today's session so here first of all we should know that what is uh, s400 triumph missile so this s400 triumph developed by russia's almaz central design bureau and is widely regarded as one of the advanced missile system and it has a feature of surface to air missile system in the world introduced into the service in 2007 though it has been started in 1980s but due to some systematic technological issues it was formally launched in 2007 and s400 is designed to provide multi layered air defense shield capable of intercepting broad spectrum aerial threats including fighter jets ballistic cruise missiles drone still aircraft so here we can see that there are so many features associated with this particular s400 and this particular thing has been taken by the russia so india has taken from the russia this is also very much important for your prelims examination so what are the key components we have so it is highly advanced air defense system because it has surface to air defense system this is also one of the important point and it can detect target 600 km away so this is also one of the advanced features associated with it and it can target track the 300 targets engage 36 threats at once and provide 360 coverage it means that we cannot escape anything from here and what are the missile types and their ranges so here we have from short to medium range and uh, small range also so long range if we we'll talk about so we have one 40 n6 long range up to 400 km for distance high value targets 48 nx6 medium range up to 250 km 9m 96e 9m 96e2 short to medium range 40 to 120 km so here we can see that there are different types and their ranges so from long range to short range we have then it has been designed for the fast moving target jets guided bombs and it can hit target up to mass 14 so what is mass here so it is a measurement of the speed and especially it has been used for the uh, aircraft 
and works at an altitude from 10 meter to 30 kilometer even near the space. So, this provides layered defense system and there are, it has the capacity to deal with the different kind of threats from low flying jets to ballistic missiles. Now, we will talk about the operational flexibility. So, it has a very rapid operational flexibility and it can operational within 5 minutes while on the move and within 35 seconds from the standby and its launch vehicles are mounted on heavy duty trailers capable of traveling 60 km per hour on road and off road 25 km per hour. So, here we have one advanced features that it can also manage at off road and the system is also designed to operate in dense electronic warfare environments uh, equipped with electronic uh, protection. So, by knowing all the features, what we got to know about uh, for the S400 that it is very much advanced in system, it is a surface to air missile system, it has every kind of ranges and it can detect up to 600 kilometer. So, here what we got to know that it has associated many good features, many advanced features, it provides 360 coverage. So, it has the capacity to deal with any kind of the attacks and yesterday we have seen that how it has been effectively used and India has purchased 5 squadron from the Russia in which 3 have been used and rest 2 is yet to be used. So, what is the strategic significance? The strategic significance of this thing that it can target many things at a uh, same point of time and at the same place. So, simultaneously it has a multiple target and it has the capacity to hit the multiple target and it can target wide array of threats and also support jammers significantly enhancing nation's aerial defense posture. So, if we will talk about that what is the significance of S-400 missile system. So, by carrying and by having S-400 missile system, India's defense system has become more strong and uh, right now we are more confident just because we are guided and we have such kind of missile system which has ability to destroy and which has ability to attack multiple threats at the same time. Now we are going to talk about the practice question for prelims. The S-400 system is capable of engaging targets flying at which of the following speed and altitude, mass 5 to 10 kilometer altitude, mass 10 to 15 kilometer altitude, mass 14 to up to 30 kilometer altitude, mass 2 up to 40 kilometer altitude. So, we had already discussed, you can answer into the comment section and this is about the S-400 missile system. So, what you have to know about the S-400 missile system, its features, that how effective it is and from where we have purchased it, which country possesses and how it is strengthening our air defense system. So, this, these are the key highlights of today's discussion. I hope you like this session. If you have any queries later this session, kindly ask into the comment section. Thank you. Have a nice day. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.